So guys, quick break. I just wanted to talk about batteries for a second. Um, batteries is one of the most important things about your setup. Finding the right battery for your quadcopter can really make a difference in the flight time and the characteristics in the way that the drone will handle itself and drag its weight. Um, more recently, I was using these, uh, the stock blade torrent props. They're kind of like a, a bull nose. I want to say these are 2 inch or 2.5 inch. Um, and these have like a, a, a pretty good pitch angle to them, if you guys could see that. So they grab quite a bit. Now, when I switch this all up, uh, before I was using these two 800 milliamp 2S and this 3S450. I was getting about five minute flight time with this. That was great until I upgraded to the CADX camera, which took an extra five volts. Um, and then these got basically pushed down to nothing because that was a, a minute flight time, maybe a minute and a half. Um, so then we upgraded, went to an XT30, went up a little bit, another 450 3S and a 652S, both with XT30s. Uh, I killed this battery on the first flight. Uh, this lasted, about 20 seconds, um, maybe, and uh, that was off a of full charge, 12.4 uh, it was at, and it went right down. I unplugged it at like 8, 9, um, and that was within 20 seconds. So these I cannot really recommend uh, because I'm not liking this one at all, um, and I've had such, such great... Uh, experience with these like five minute flight times with these uh the 650 did work um and it, it lasted about a minute minute and a half but that's not that's that's nothing by the time i'm actually having fun and getting my flow on it's already time to stop unplug and change batteries so i'm sure you guys just noticed this down here so besides for that i was running this bigger 1550 3s off of this and um, I, I, it's got a current meter that I'm running off the VCC of the, uh, the CADX camera. So I could see on the current meter that when I was giving it, you know, hard throttle rips, it was just going down to nothing. Um, so this, once again, this was around 45 seconds to a minute. So then I just used the, uh, the Mobila 7 adapter idea pretty much and created my own little uh, adapter plug so I also have a JST right here and all I do is put that in here now I can run two 800 milliamp uh, 2s simultaneously so then I'm essentially getting a 4s uh, 1600 um, if you're asking yourself why I don't just use uh, a 4S, uh, you know, 1650 or a, a 1550, whatever, um, more in terms of the weight, uh, I'm trying not to ramble too long here, but I'll just show you guys real quick. This is, uh, this has the hypo checker, so you can see that's yellow, that's half dead. These, I'll tell you right now, because I'm going to... I'm gonna go outside right now. Yeah, those are full. So if we just break out the uh, the scale here, I'll put both of these full 2S 800s on here. 85.9. So now I'm gonna put on this half dead 1554S with the hypo checker. Hundred and ninety two. So it's more than double the weight when this is already half dead. Um and that's actually the reason why I decided to go with the two two S's to save weight, still get power, and get better flight times. So now let's jump back out to the field.